Hello, welcome to Challenge Charlie, challenge number 16. Um, I'm about to go indoor skydiving. I'm at Body Flight in Bedford and together with my friend Nikki, we're about to attempt to fly up this massive kind of indoor tube thing. Um, <laughs> not really sure what to expect, but let's go and see. First we're given our kit, helmets, earplugs, goggles and very fetching flying suits complete with grab handles so that the instructor can control our movement in the tunnel. We are all kitted up, fetching goggles and a helmet. <laughs> we're given a quick briefing of how to fly and then it's into the tunnel. Here's how it's supposed to be done, with a little bit of practice obviously. The group before us had had two instructors who had duelled superhero style at the end of the session, spinning round and round upside down and doing some really cool stuff, much to the enjoyment of those watching in the viewing gallery. The key to flying in a wind tunnel is to relax. To enter the tunnel, you have to keep your chin and chest up and allow yourself to fall forwards. Then, in order to stay as level as possible, you just basically have to relax, which is harder than you think. It's quite hard not to try and swim or just wiggle all over the place, but the instructors use a range of hand signals because the noise in the tunnel is so loud, so that they can tell you what you're doing wrong and you can correct it. Nikki and I had two sessions in the tunnel and by our second attempt we'd got used to the feeling of the wind and had a bit more of an idea as to what we were meant to be doing to try and fly. Both of us managed to fly relatively high in the tunnel, well, around the instructor's shoulders. And Nikki even got to leave the instructor's hands for a little bit. Can you see my goggle marks? <laughs> that was so much fun. Um, but what's quite amusing is you have to make sure you close your mouth, otherwise all your spit goes over your face. <laughs> it's not really glamorous. Um, and I know that both me and Nikki at times weren't really sure what we were meant to be doing with the um, instructor's hand signals. He taught us like the basic ones, like that was straighten your legs, that's bend your, oh, that's bend your legs. Um, that, that means um, you need to kind of arch your body more so you have to hip, th thrust your hips forward and that means relax. But he kept doing a couple of other single, um, signals which I wasn't really sure what they were. But, um, but I think we both really, really enjoyed ourselves. It's a bit of a shame, you only really get two and a half minutes, I mean, like on the sort of the basic lesson. Um, and to be honest, when the time going in and out of the tunnel, we probably actually only had about two minutes in the tunnel. Um, and it goes by really, really quickly, but then you do sort of feel like you're in there a lot longer too, if that makes sense. Um, definitely something I'd try again, and hopefully something that I would like to do in, like, in the real world. So kind of coming out of a plane, but I think I might leave that till the end of the year when I'm in Australia and do it over there. 
Anyway, um, yeah, a really, really good fun challenge. And again, a really accessible one. It cost us £40 pounds, um, each for the day. And if you, I think if you look on the internet, there's quite a few offers going around. Um, so something I would definitely recommend trying. Um, I will see you again. Um, I'm not sure yet what Challenge 17 is. There are a couple of options, but, um, but it'll be sometime next week. I'll see you then.